going on YouTube and thanks for coming back for another video. Alrighty guys, so today's video probably pretty quick, but uh, I was actually at Home Depot and I seen this item there and I was like, well, oh, let me take a look at it. And it seemed pretty cool, so uh, I brought it home. And it's, well, I thought you guys might want to check it out and see if uh, you guys might be interested in it. So let's go take a look what I'm talking about. Alrighty guys, so the item that I purchased today is called the Beehive Smart Wi-Fi Hose Timer. So if you guys remember a while back, I installed a little sprinkler system back here that ran, you know, with your traditional uh, water hose timer. Let me show you real quick. So it's right here. This one is, uh, it's Orbit. It's the same as the Wi-Fi one. So you got your dials here and, and, and runs off a of battery and whatnot. And uh, it, it's worked really good. I'm giving me no problems, guys. I just happened to see this Wi-Fi one and I was like, hey, let me try it out, see how it is. So I brought it home and here it is, guys. So let's go ahead and uh, open this up, set it up and uh, check it out. Alrighty, guys, so there it is. I already installed it, super easy. Um, one thing I should have mentioned, I guess, is originally when I installed this little irrigation back here, I had a PVC pipe that goes straight down, just a regular PVC pipe. What happened was my dog, which I have tied up right now, he ran into this PVC pipe, <clears throat> PVC pipe and ended up cracking. He's a pretty big dog. I don't know how big he is, but he's pretty big. He's 50, 60 pounds and running around, he ran into it, cracked because the PVC pipe doesn't bend. So I was just gonna replace it, same PVC pipe and whatnot. And actually I found this PVC pipe that bends. Let me show you. So this PVC is still straight, but then right here, see how it bends? So you have more playroom, I guess you can say. So I installed that and it's actually a lot better. So now you can wiggle it and stuff like that. And it actually makes it easier for me if, for example, how I just installed this, you know, I didn't have to worry about like, oh wait, this PVC pipe just stays straight. I can't move it too much. No, because I had the vendable PVC pipe, I was able to just rearrange it and no problem whatsoever. So with this, you have more playroom. So that's something you guys might want to look into if for example you guys do have a current setup like I do and it's kind of hard to move around with this bendable PVC pipe you might be able to do it I did it pretty simple and uh, it works really good guys so maybe that's something you guys might want to look into as well but anyways we got it installed uh, right here it has a little cartridge which pull out and you put your batteries in here close it up We'll power it on. So we got the light on, so we're good. Next, we gotta go install the hub inside your house. All right, guys, so this is the hub right here. This is what gives the Wi-Fi to the timer. So before we do anything here, you wanna make sure you download the app. I have it on the, the Google Store and the App Store, the Apple Store. So go ahead and download. You're gonna make a little account. And once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and pair it. So here's the app right here. You're gonna, once you get to this menu, oh, sorry. You're gonna see a list of uh, devices. So you're gonna go ahead right here, host timer. And then it's gonna ask you to come a question, just follow it through. My device powered on, ready to go. You're gonna click yes. So you wanna make sure you click the on button on the timer outside. So we're gonna go ahead, my device is powered on. It's gonna search, it's gonna find, and it's gonna confirm that this is the right MAC address. The MAC address is actually in the back of the hub. So you're actually supposed to write it down before, but I. I did, I took a picture, so this is the one I have. So you're gonna pull it, this is, this matches my device. It's gonna connect. So 
So you're gonna get on your password, go ahead and enter it and connect. Okay, after you connect, it's gonna say Wi-Fi Hub. You can you can name it if you like. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip just for the video. Okay guys, so then after it's actually gonna ask you for your location um, because this is considered a smart um, host timer. Basically it's gonna gather your current weather information around you and this way it knows whether or not to water more or, or less and stuff like that. So you can go ahead and enter your address or just click my current locations up to you. After that, you'll see this menu. Go ahead and power it. So we found device. Like I said, you wanna make sure that Mac address matches. You're gonna click this matches. It's gonna save. So right here is actually giving you two options. You can connect Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So today we're gonna to do the Wi-Fi. So there you go. Your devices can now communicate with one another. Let's configure your devices. So you can go ahead and name it if you like. I'm just gonna, like I said, skip next. All right, guys, so you're gonna see this menu right here. It's gonna be a test. And I guess this is a, a test to calibrate the flow sensor in your timer. So we're gonna go ahead and test right now. All right, so just about 30 seconds, like I said. Um, if your sprinkler did turn on, you can go ahead and name the zone. Uh, I only have one zone back here. So like I said, I'm not gonna name it. So let's go ahead and click on next. So right here is going to give you a couple of options. You can do smart watering. It's going to use your landscape information to, to determine optimal watering schedule. Or you can do traditional, which means you can set up your, your own schedule the old fashioned way, which is probably the way I'm going to be doing it, to be honest. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, you're all set. Start using. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you real quick uh, how to program your timer you're gonna click on one of these slots you're gonna go add a start time so from here you can choose any time you want to start it's up to you um, I'm gonna put mine's about 8 a.m. go ahead and confirm next you're gonna click right here this is gonna determine how long to run that um, zone so right here you can see the time so right now it's at 10 minutes so you can add I think it goes up to an hour I'm not sure but you could add or subtract time it's up to you so right now I'll just put it for right now it's 10 minutes once you're done go ahead and click right here confirm next would be your watering days so you can go ahead and put even, odd, or interval, or you can go right here in the weekdays, and you can choose what day of the week you want watered. So if you want every day, just click on all of them. If you want every other day, you can do it manually, or let's just say you want Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday only, you know, it's up to you, whichever you prefer, so you can really customize it yourself. After that, you're gonna go right here on top, save. Add a name. Let's go ahead and just name it whatever you like. I'm put backyard for right now. Okay, and, and you're good to go. Your your thing's ready to go. If you click on home, it will tell you right here your scheduled programs. Backyard will begin watering tomorrow at 8 a.m. So if you had multiple zones or stuff like that, it would all be listed here. All right, guys, I just want to show you uh, real quick. Uh, let's say you wanted to manual water. You don't want to wait for your program to turn on. You want it to water something right now. Click right here, water manually. And then it, which zone you want to water, zone one, and how long you want to run it for. So let's, right now it's on 10 minutes, fine. We'll go ahead and click it. And then it's going to turn on right now.
So there it goes. And let's say that the 10 minutes was too long for you, you want to shut it off. You're going to go back to your home. You go back to your home screen right here. And it'll say zone. And you're going to right here, you can just go ahead and stop it. And then it should go ahead and stop. There you go. So yeah, guys, timer is pretty cool. It does a lot of things. Um, it has a lot of informational stuff. If you're really into that stuff, you can go to your watering history. It breaks down by months, how many gallons you used, how long was it. So it's pretty cool. All right, guys. So there you have it. This is the Beehive Smart Hose Timer. Um, so far, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I would recommend this guy. It's pretty cool to have. Uh, a couple things I want to mention. If let's just say you don't have Wi-Fi, if I'm not mistaken, they also have um, one that just works off of Bluetooth. If you're interested in that as well. And when I was at Home Depot, they did have the Bluetooth that had four zones, and they had another one that had two zones, I believe. Um, this Wi-Fi, I could only find the Wi-Fi with one zone, but they might have some online that has more multiple zones. So. That's something you guys want to go check out. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys really enjoy this. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys.